That's it. I'm sorry, but not sorry. I just can't get behind Haney versus Garcia as a true fight. Ryan Garcia does the unthinkable. A week before his fight, now he wants smoke. You won't believe this. Now he wants smoke with none other than Terrence Bud Crawford. Daddy, chill. He needs some milk. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh hell no. Okay. Oh. Focus on your fight for you not make it to your fight. Focus on your fight for you not make it to your fight. Focus on your fight for you not make it to your fight. You're not gonna make it to your fight. Ryan Garcia is at it again. Ryan Garcia really continues to disrespect and overlook his upcoming fight. Now seemingly he has set his sights on none other than pound for pound level fighter terrence bud crawford ryan garcia says and i quote i respect terrence crawford and what he has reached but i want to kick his ass just cuz let's effing go and two shorts favorite word it why they want to say it like short shout out to the whole bay area i mean at this point this is laughable to me these kids better leave terrence bud crawford alone i've watched crawford fight live many a times i was there when he became undisputed and it's just this doesn't make sense i'm not gonna beat around the bush it truly doesn't make sense for ryan garcia to be talking bad about such a talent and Terrence Crawford and saying he wanted to whoop him and all this type of stuff. And he's literally fighting Devin Haney next Saturday, April 20th. And now he wants smoke with Bud. See what I did? 420. Now he wants smoke with Bud. Get it? Bars. So it just, this is, I'm, I'm like totally, Ryan has effectively unsold this fight. I told you guys throughout this promotion if that's what we're calling it that i'm an old school cat i you know really a lot of the fond moments in boxing are like old like some of the older fights that i came up watching my favorite fighters muhammad ali's and the roy jones juniors floyd prince nasim you know juan manuel marquez etc cetera, etc cetera. none of them acted like this none of them we're heavy on social media and I get it. Some people are like, oh, you're a boomer and things like that. But I truly prefer the era that I came up watching uh, boxing as opposed to this new social media era. I do understand that in life you'll see things change and evolution and maybe this is how boxing will always be. But I'm not I, I told you I'm old school. I'm not really big on like a bunch of people going on social media talking crazy then the fight don't happen i mean what's the point of that you know social media is an amazing concept and a great tool but unfortunately a lot of people they don't use and utilize social media in the proper way because what they do is do like what ryan garcia is doing if you go follow ryan garcia on social media it is truly all over the place in one he's talking about diddy and devin haney he's saying that he wants to whoop on terrence crawford when he already has an opponent he's talking about tom holland from Th spider-man zendaya he's talking about katie perry he's talking about bryce hall jake paul logan paul ksi this whole promotion has been like this and I can't wait for 421 
the day after when all of this will be over because this is truly it's just too much it's too much going on and to call out and disrespect terrence crawford literally doesn't make sense you can't beat terrence crawford from my perspective crawford is likely moving up to 54 ryan is at 140 ryan has never been a champion and crawford has been a legit champion in multiple weight classes and he's about to try to conquer another weight class or at least get belts or whatever before he wraps up his career and you just randomly calling him out now full disclosure ryan garcia tweets and posts a lot so maybe i missed it as of me recording the video i have no idea why he do 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 take his shots at terrence crawford none i don't know if crawford did an interview i don't know if crawford posted something that he didn't like but i literally don't know where this even comes from but as i said being an old school boxing head i know to not underestimate your opponent and ryan has natural skill speed he's explosive he has power he has good size but the way he's at least the the outward look of things the way he's going about it even people who believe that he has a chance he's not strengthening that belief by acting like that he seems at times very distracted you seem focused on other people some people felt that there were points where he was trying to get out of the fight and you know calling out other opponents just what part of the game is that to overlook what's in front of you to be calling out bigger fighters fighters that have done more than you know Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia like Terrence Crawford as he should he's older and he's um been around longer so he should have accomplished that Crawford is the only man in boxing history man not Clarissa Shields woman the quote that has ever been 2x undisputed in men's boxing so it's like he he's owed more respect than Ryan for whatever reason randomly trying to drag his name saying he wants to fight him just because and in statements like that make people believe that Ryan Garcia is on something or seeking attention or on drugs or whatever because I don't know too many people that believe Ryan has a snowball's chance in HE double hockey sticks to beat beat a person like Terrence Crawford and to have a fighter like Devin Haney who's very good who's been undisputed skilled he looks like he's in phenomenal shape and you're just disrespecting the sport by seemingly overlooking him and I get it they fought six times as amateurs I understand this and I totally get it but for me you don't want to underestimate anyone just because you fought him when you were younger you're a teenager who's to say he hasn't improved or his strength isn't better than what you remember or his accuracy and whatnot so whatever ryan is doing doesn't for me cut it and it doesn't work because for me i think a fighter should be building up the fight but this behavior from ryan throughout this whole promotion is tearing down the fight calling out terrence crawford how can we take this serious when in a matter of days you're about to be in your fight week and you're talking about fighting somebody else who a lot of people have rated number one pound for pound like how can i like you guys let me know in the comment section how that's supposed to be interpreted as a boxing fan who might want to buy tickets when the guy's not even talking about who he's gonna fight he's being like disrespectful to the guy he's gonna fight like he's looking past him at other fights and like i said in my post y'all better leave bud alone Tio Fimo, these kids better leave him alone. And I say kids because they're younger than myself, younger than Bud. They got to leave Bud alone. He's a certified killer. His last fight showed you that. And if Errol Spence got beat so badly by Bud, what can Ryan Garcia, who's never been a champion, or even a Tio Fimo do? And they're not even welterweights. And Bud has a mean streak. He's not going to hold back. Shakur Stevenson is a top talent skill fighter he admits when he first sparred with bud he said bud tore him up and this is a, a Shakur Stevenson who doesn't get hit much at all in general if you watch his fights he's a cerebral fighter he's a 
a tactical fighter who has a better defense than a guy like Ryan or Teofimo. So I don't know why people keep trying Bud Crawford, but it's kind of weird.